<laughs> Joey T and the Snob. I'm reorganizing here. I'm going to get ready. There, there we go. Joey T and the Snob glass. Look, we got some nice looking uh, cocktails in front of us today. Uh, haven't done an episode in a while. Uh, last time, I think uh, the good doc was here just before Christmas. Remember the box wine? Go, go take a look at that. A little marketing on that one. Um, but I'm going solo, all right? And, uh, you know, we're supposed to... I'm going to bring down this music a little bit here. It'll, it'll go away because I just talk way too much here. Bring it down. Bring it down. There you go. Uh, I um, was supposed to go to a dinner. Uh, it's about an hour away, and uh, here in uh, Illinois, where uh, and and across a lot of states, there's a, a big snowstorm. And I said, you know what? We're not gonna, you know, we're gonna be prudent. You know, I'm prudent. Big word for Joey T, <laughs> right? And uh, where I said, you know, let's uh, let's stay home, and I'm gonna have to do an episode, right? Uh, nothing's brewing here. And uh, I'm thinking summer. I can't wait for summer. Th can't wait for the spring. Going on vacations. And uh, you think spritz. <laughs> I, I, by the way, spritzer is a, a German word for spray. I learned this as I was uh, looking at uh, lo doing, doing a little uh, research on, uh, on this Italian, this Italian uh, spritz, uh, Aperol. And uh, there you go. I'm going to bring that in there. There's a little bottle of this thing. It's 11% alcohol. It's uh, some orange flavor. And there's, uh, the, uh, there's a bunch of other stuff in it. <laughs> go, go look it up. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm thinking, <clears throat> you know what? Let's think refreshing. Let's not think about snow and shoveling and all that stuff that we got to do here in Chicago. Oh, my Lord. I'm looking out the window. It's not stopping. Uh, and my back's starting to hurt. Uh, anyways, um, I was uh, I was reading an article. Let me get my little uh, marketing out of here. Um, <clears throat> reading an article about uh, the Aperol spritz, and uh, I'm gonna kind of gotta gotta look at my notes here. Um, it it was uh, uh, back a, a long time ago, but I think it's a they said the 19th century. Um, uh, that, that's when uh, these spritz were were kind of uh, started. Uh, it, it, it was with wine, white wine, and then they put in a bunch of uh, spices and <laughs> and stuff. And this is this is northern Italy, uh, in in the Venice area. They because of where it's located, water. If you don't know that, look it up. Venice is sitting in the middle of a pond or something like that. And, uh, but they had access to a lot of these spices. And the um, Australians, or uh, Austrians, uh, thought, <laughs> two different countries, uh, thought the Italian wines were uh, just a little too heavy for them, right? Uh, they couldn't deal with it, so they, uh, they needed some spices. Spritzers, and that's the a splash of soda water, and that's uh, that helped dilute the wine, right? And so that's how it all started, you know. Now, so fast forward to like uh, so Aperol. That so then they started making a, a concoction like this uh, in Padua uh, in uh, 1919. If you go back, <laughs> yeah, I could, I could, you know what? Let's uh, we haven't done this. Let's. Oops, uh, hold on here. I, you know, I, we're, we're going back here. We're going to go do the harp here. Um, hey, well, I can't find the stupid harp. <laughs> I, I, I don't know here. Harp. Here. Uh, uh. Anyways, um, w back in uh, Padua, that's when um, uh, they, they created something like this. And then, you, again, fast forward to the 1990s, uh, and then this drink started to become uh, more in vogue, I would say, in vogue, strike a pose. Uh, I don't have that music. Um, and we, uh, so they started making uh, these spritzers. And uh, from what I'm told, the Aperol is, uh, you know, an orange base. If you want it more... Um, I guess uh, uh, more bitter and less 
uh, of the orange type flavor, you could have Campari. And so I, I made two, uh, uh, a Campari spritzer and the Aperol. Uh, it, they're both three parts Prosecco. And you, and you want to use a, um, a, a brute or a, a drier uh, Prosecco. You know what? And don't, don't skimp on it. You, you want to have a, you know, a decent, a bottle of a prosecco and uh, don't go getting a go don't go getting cheap on uh, on me here. Um, so three parts prosecco, uh, two parts either the Campari or the Aperol, and uh, and then uh, a splash of soda. And that's uh, that's those Austrians. They wanted a, a little splash of soda water on here. Um, they uh, now by the way this is so this has some alcohol. This is eleven percent alcohol. Uh, the Campari is about double, so you got about 20, 21 percent, 22 percent. But it's uh, if you want uh, a, a more bitter, more refined, more sophisticated. Oh, well, I haven't, I've, I haven't tried this. I poured it. Just wanted to get ready for the for this here. Um, and uh, here we're gonna. Or can, can, I don't even know here. Well, I don't know what we got to harp here. There we go. That, that's the thinking back of Padua. Uh, that a little late on the draw here, Joey T. Um, but let's, uh, let's, let's, so they say to garnish it with uh, uh, some orange peel, which I have here. So this is the Aperol. I did put orange here. They said you could put olives. I'm not a big olive guy. Um, but let's uh, let's try it. Let's see what um, what this is all about here. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had it, so this is going to be new for Joey T. Uh, it it has wine, so Joey T. It's not all about wine. Get outside your comfort zone. Have fun, right? Experiment. Let's try it. I, I I'm not afraid to to try something like this. Let me get this out of the way. Yeah. You got the little bitters in the back. You do have the orange. Uh, man, I got a little put an orange thing on there. It's kind of like again, first time I've I've ever tried this. Um, somewhat refreshing. Uh, I'm just, again reading uh, some notes. Uh, some people say this is like having a Capri Sun. <laughs> you remember those Capri for your kids? Um, but it's uh, it's not. Uh, uh, it has that that bitter taste to it. It doesn't. I don't know. They said it was sugary. I, I'm not tasting the sugar. Uh, but let's let's compare it to this Campari, which they say has less sugar, um, more alcohol. Uh, so for for those of you who drink wine for the alcohol, I don't. As you know, Joey T likes uh, alcohol uh, vol uh, alcohol volume under 14 and actually closer to 13, maybe even under, uh, but let's just see how this all goes. Yeah, there, this, this is not as sweet. Certainly you taste the bitters in this thing. Um, I would say both refreshing. Um, I think I, I would probably prefer that. And again, I'm not the, uh, I, I like dry stuff. I like not sweet. Maybe I'll go with the Capri Sun, <laughs> the Aperol uh, Capri Sun. Uh, let me look at my notes, see if I missed anything. Um, again, three parts Prosecco. And go back. I, I did a, uh, a, a thing on uh, Prosecco, uh, an episode, the Galera Grape, uh, up in Valdon Bimpiani, if I said that right. Uh, it, it's a it's a, a great episode. Take a, a listen at that one. Three parts Prosecco, uh, two parts either the Aperol or the Campari, and then uh, a splash of soda or one part. Uh, loaded up with ice, as you can see, uh, <laughs> my ice isn't so loaded up. Um, and uh, yeah, enjoy it. It's it's refreshing. You have it. 
you know, it's more of the afternoon before you get into the good stuff uh, and you start uh, drinking uh, something a little bit heavier, the, what the, the Austrians uh, probably don't like. Uh, I, I don't know. Well, you're going back to the 19th century. Who knows what the hell they were doing back then anyways. I mean, come on, Italians have all kinds of good wine and you're not liking that stuff. Um, anyways, uh, I'm not tasting the sugar. Uh, maybe I put too much of the... Uh, other bitters in here but uh uh yeah uh g- give it a shot go outside your comfort zone that's the key here and um have fun with wine joey t in the snob i'll uh i'll try to post this thing as quickly as possible but uh, let's kick up the music there we come here. Ah! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Joey T. Joey T. Snob. Joey T. and the snob. A little heavy breathing. A little... There it is. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know who the hell I'm talking to. Leave Joey T. Uh, uh, some uh, an email. Give him a joy, joy underscore underscore dad yeah, mail. Put comments in there. Give him some love, some Aperol, some sweet love. Uh, hit that like button, whatever that means. Uh, and I'll, uh, you know, and I'll appreciate that. And I'll respond to any email. So, all right, everybody, have a good night. No shoveling out there. Don't hurt your backs. And uh, watch for more episodes of Joey T and the Snob. Take care now.